Let's review our posture. Find your hip bones. Make sure your feet are directly beneath them. This is the distance you want between your feet for your body. Gently and deeply bend your knees, keeping your chest stacked over your hips. Relax those shoulders. Dispense your weight evenly on your feet. Practice relaxing into this posture, especially if you're new to World Fusion or belly dance. And hydrate. It's good to warm up before dancing. I suggest doing squats. You can add your arms to this. Shoulder rolls and side reaches. You'll want to cool down after dancing with some stretches. I suggest stretching your hip flexors, your hamstrings, releasing your lower back, and even trying some balance challenges. And some gentle roll-ups always help reset the body. All right, let's get to dancing. We're gonna start with some oblique hip lifts. Contracting your right side and your left side with bent knees will allow you to lift those hips. Mirror me for right, left, right, left. Try it faster. Right, left, right, left. Remember to bend your knees. Maintaining your dance posture, we're now gonna rotate the pelvis forward and back. This is a gentle movement that allows you to stay within your posture. Gently contract your belly to rotate your pelvis back and gently release forward as you rotate it to the front. Let's combine these. Lift that right hip, rotate the pelvis back, lift the left hip and rotate it forward. Contract, tuck, contract, release. Now let's put the downbeat on our pelvic tuck. So we're gonna go tuck, contract left, release forward, contract right. Tuck, and, release, and. Let's speed it up and smooth it out so it's a rounded movement. Right, forward, left, back. Right, forward, left, back. If you have the accent on the right hip, go ahead and take it to the forward back motion of your hips, the tuck release. And speed it up if you like. Forward, back, forward, back. Let's try a left side lead. And speed it up. Left, tuck, right, release. Let's smooth it out. Left, tuck, right, release. And take the downbeat to the tuck. Tuck, release, tuck, release. Now we're going to use our upper back muscles to lift our chest vertically, sliding it up, and then resetting back into our normal posture. Be sure to sink into your posture and keep the low belly contracted. Now we're going to contract the upper abs to drop the chest. Relax those shoulders. We're going to add a slide to this, so contract on your right oblique to slide left and contract left to slide right. This will create an actual slide, no tilting or lifting. Let's create 
create a square from these slides. So we're going to slide right, lift, slide left, drop. Keep it going. Slide right, lift, slide left, and drop. low body stable, relax those shoulders, use your upper abs and upper back muscles. Now let's lead left, lift, right, drop. Now let's focus on chin circles. We're going to tilt our chin right and left and forward and back to create a circle. You can also do this with neck slide, side to side and forward and back. Let's combine our chest and pelvic lifts and rotations to create an undulation. Smooth it out, lift, drop, tuck, release. Lift, drop, tuck, release. Let's add some shoulder slides. So we're going to slide forward, back with our shoulder, and up and down. Now we'll make a square. We're going to slide forward, lift, slide back, and drop. Good. Now we'll combine our shoulder roll right left with our undulation up to down to create a smooth flow. Roll the right shoulder back, roll the left shoulder back, lift, drop, tuck, release. Additionally, you can accent the undulation up to down with an arm flow. Lifting the shoulders, bending the elbows, releasing the arms up, and then bringing the arms down again. To lift the chest, the arms release. As you drop the chest, the shoulders lift. As you tuck the pelvis, the elbows lift. As you release the pelvis, the arms release. You can also opt to leave the shoulders out of it and just bend at the elbows. If you want to accent this with a level change, bending and extending the legs, you'll extend as you lift and bend as you drop the chest. You can mess with tempo with this and really accentuate that drop. Let's create our combo. We're going to do our interior hip circle, our lifted chest circle, our head or neck circle, roll the right shoulder back, roll the left shoulder back, and then undulate from up to down. This winding of the hips, chest, and neck is called a corkscrew, and I'm keeping it on my right side lead, but you can do your left side lead. Just make sure that you're starting on your right or left hip, chest, and neck slide so that you're doing a corkscrew. Let's try this a little faster. So we're gonna go 
hip circle, chest circle, head circle, right shoulder roll back, left shoulder roll back, undulate up to down. Now let's put it to music. Continue to experiment with the speed of the movement to this music as you like. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you have any requests for movement tutorials, please go ahead and comment below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing so you can come join me for more tutorials like this.